And here's our bride. Let's give her a big round of applause. Yeah! Yeah! Cool. Coach Abby's getting married today, and she's still asleep. That's because yesterday was her bachelorette party. Oh, I would like to sleep too. Girls, tell me that yesterday was really cool. Okay, girls, let's wake up Coach Abby because I feel like she's going to sleep through her wedding. Coach, Coach Abby, wake, wake up. up. Girls, why are you yelling so loud? I can hear you perfectly, okay? I'm rescheduling the wedding. I really want to sleep. What? Coach Abby, no, it doesn't work that way. Actually, your wedding dress is already hanging. The veil, the bridal bouquet has arrived. Coach Abby, what do you mean? You're going to make teacher Mike cry. Coach Abby, everything's ready. Girls, don't you know that when you're sleeping, you don't want anybody to wake you up like us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all. Coach Abby, get your butt off the bed and go get ready. We will help you. We understand that nobody got enough sleep today, but today is a very special day. Yeah, Coach Abby, today is your wedding day with Mr. Mike. Girls, I don't want to get married. The bachelorette party was fine already. Coach Abby, one. Yeah, okay. Two. I'm up, can't you see it? Three. I'm up, where's my dress? Let's go, Coach Abby. Now we're gonna help you. Oh my god, my wedding dress. The day came. Do you understand that this is the end of my free life? Coach Abby, it's time for you to get married. You don't want to be single for the rest of your life, do you? You think that nobody will like me more than Mr. Mike? Coach Abby, who knows? Coach Abby, Mike is a good candidate, so stay calm, okay? So balanced. He needs somebody like that. Fine, you talked me into it. Coach Abby, are you okay? You've been planning for this wedding for a month, and now you talked me into it? All right, Coach Abby, it's time for you to get dressed. Let Coach Abby brush her teeth first. Yeah, please. <gasps> Girls, that's yesterday's cotton candy. It's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over. Coach Abby's getting married, and I also want to get married. I do. I will have the most beautiful, most luxurious dress. Maya, we heard you say this throughout the bachelorette party yesterday. Girls, let's make a deal. When we get married, we will be each other's bridesmaids. Yeah! yeah. We found this abandoned zoo not too long ago. The animals there really need our help. Help us save these poor creatures and build cozy habitats for them. Download our game and let's get to work. The pandas, elephants, and lions need our help. Here you go, Lyalia. Take a tissue. Liana, Mr. Mike is getting married. Yana, wait, have you fallen in love with Mr. Mike? No, Yana, I'm just, I'm his right hand, and I worry about him, I do. And this Abby, she's crazy, you know? You know, it's actually a wedding, not a funeral, so you should rejoice, you know? Um, take some more, stop crying. If you didn't know, Yana, people cry at weddings too. When I see a wedding ceremony, the main thing is not to lose consciousness. To faint. <laughs> yes, my friend, I didn't know that you were so emotional. Everybody does tell me that you have a thing for Mr. Mike. <laughs> Even if I did, so what? For me, he's an example of an ideal male. What, Mr. Mike? Oh, my friend, I've learned so much about you just now. Can't believe it. He's tall, he's strong, he's kind, and he's smart, just like me. Girls, why is it so tight? Abby, don't you understand? Your waist should be as narrow as possible. To make Mr. Mike just speechless when he sees you. But it's hard to breathe. It's okay. Just be patient. <laughs> Coach Abby, you shouldn't eat anything today. Because her stomach is tightly tightened with a corset. Oh, I really want to eat a big toast with avocado paste and garlic. Coach Abby with garlic? You want to have a stinky breath? Coach, Coach Abby, Abby, take, take a, a deep, deep breath. breath. Ooh, now can I breathe? Yeah, you can. Great, now the veil. Guys, I'm getting married. We, we are aware. aware. Guys, are you pleased for me? Of course, Teacher Mike. We're so happy. Guys, did you get enough sleep after the bachelor party? Yeah, yeah I didn't. Teacher Mike, your single life is coming to an end today. Teacher Mike, did you buy the rings? 
Of course, Teacher Mike bought the rings. What did you think? Teacher Mike, did you buy the rings? Rings. Teacher Mike, here are your rings. What would you do without us, Teacher Mike? Guys, you are my saviors. And a bridal bouquet? What, do I need the bouquet? Teacher Mike, are you getting married or are you catching butterflies? In every movie, in every TV series, the bride must have a bouquet. In any case, we can steal a broom. Damn, Zoop, what are you talking about? Losers, go for a bouquet, hurry up. We? we? But we were going for the rings just now. Did you hear? For a bouquet, hurry. In and out in five minutes. You understand, we didn't get enough sleep, and you are sending us. You think it's so easy, we also want to sleep. Okay, just give us money. Or should we spend hours like on rings? I'll put it on a card. Okay. okay. Look, just put. Well, well Teacher Mike, Mike, it's time. time. Wait, choose my finger. Why? Just choose this one. Teacher Mike is kind of insecure. He has a wedding and he plays games. He is nervous. If I got married, I would be nervous too. Well, Teacher Mike, we chose the finger. I think Abby will say no to me. Teacher Mike, you are winding yourself up. Everything will be okay. Let's go. Coach Abby, Abby, you're so, so beautiful. beautiful. The only thing is that you don't look very happy. Girls, I'm just kind of the person who doesn't show much emotions. I wonder if Mr. Mike has bought the rings. I wonder if Mr. Mike got the rings with or without diamonds. Girls, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. That's it, girls. I am ready. I am ready to get married. <laughs> So girls, if we're going to the wedding tonight, Coach Abby will throw the bouquet. And I have one request. Do not catch that bouquet because it must be mine. I have to catch it. What are you talking about? Everybody here wants to get married too. Okay, everybody wants to catch the bouquet. Whoever catches it first will be the first one to marry. I warned you, Stella. If you catch that bouquet, I'm going to be hitting you on your cheek hairstyle that you have with my bouquet. You got it? Girls, do you really like believe in these things? I don't believe it. So I'm not even going to catch that bouquet because I already know that I'm going to marry first because I I am the prettiest. Oh, it's starting. Azania, all of the frogs are beautiful. I don't disagree. All the frogs are beautiful. I'm just the prettiest. You are right after me because blondes rule here, in case you didn't know. You know, depending on what blondes, blondes with singed hairs I don't rule. <laughs> all right, stop laughing. I want to see Coach Abby's wedding dress because I want to know that if I want to dress like hers or not for my wedding. So let's go. Let's go take a look. Crap, eyes, we screwed up. So what? We're not wedding cake makers. What should we do now? Coach Abby is waiting for a 10-tiered wedding cake. And Big Mike and Coach Abby are on top. It's okay. Let's say that one of the boys ate. Oh, let's say that the football what players ate. Players eat? Eat? We haven't eaten anything today. Soccer players, we need your help. Long story short, we screwed up what on the cake. What do you mean? No wedding cake? No, we're going to say that you girls ate it. What? No. Wait. You haven't heard the end of this. Every day carbonara and big pizza. Look, Lauren, Coach Abby won't do anything to you. So if I say that I ate this cake that doesn't even exist, I will get to have pizza and pasta every day? Is that right? Yeah. Do you agree? Agree that you can share it with us. Please. Fine, but you better keep your word. Lauren, we love you. No deception. I said I did. Okay, just make us a latte because we are hungry. And cutlets too. Well, Coach Abby, it's time. The ceremony is about to begin. Would you like a glass of water? Mm -hmm. No, girls, thank you. Coach Abby is just fine. Then let's go, Coach Abby. I'm just so worried. I'm worried. The main thing is that Mike doesn't forget anything. He's been so confused today. Coach Abby, don't worry. I'm sure Mr. Mike got everything ready and will do everything correctly. You've been preparing for this wedding for a whole month. Girls, a month, but it's Mike. Coach Abby, let's go. Mr. Mike is waiting for you. Yeah, so we better get going, girls. Let's go. Guys, today is a great day. Two hearts will be united into one. My heart hasn't arrived yet. Where is Abby? Teacher, Teacher Mike, Mike, we're getting married soon. Crap, all the boys are looking at me. Did you notice that, huh? No, Blondie, we did not notice. And what about your hair? Are you like the bride? I want to outshine Coach Abby. That's why I put my hair up like this. Well, guys, our bride is late, but shall we call her now? Bride, 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 bride. Guys, she's coming. Oh my God, is it that is Abby? Our bride, let's give her a big round of applause. Yeah! Oh
when I want and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the air. You are perfect. Mr. Mike, let's start the ceremony. Mr. Mike, why didn't you put on another suit? Rings are too expensive. Mike, don't skimp on yourself. Well, can we start the ceremony? Yeah! Well, guys, today is a very special day for all of us. Mr. Mike and Coach Abby are getting married, and we hope it's forever. What? Anyway, Mr. Mike, are you ready to marry Coach Abby? What should be said? Mike? Teacher Mike, Mike say yes. yes! Oh, I remembered. Yes. And you, Coach Abby, are you ready to be with Mr. Mike for better or worse, to be his wife? Crap, Mr. Mike is just so weird. No, he's just nervous, you know. His single, free life is over now. They are such a gorgeous couple. Nothing special, and Coach Abby's got some kind of creepy dress on. Girls, don't do this. Coach Abby has a beautiful dress on. Coach Abby's taking a long time to make her decision, so probably she doesn't love Mr. Mike. Lyalia, is there something wrong? I don't get it. Mike, of course I do. Yeah. Woo! Rings. Mike, did you buy the rings? Yes. Kasia. Teacher Mike, here are the rings. So now the newlyweds will exchange rings. Mr. Mike, you are first. Mike, what a beautiful diamond ring. No, Abby. This is zirconia or cubic Coach zirconia. Abby, it's your turn I don't to put remember. on the ring on Mr. Mike. Yeah. No! Baby, our no, wedding smile. is coming soon. I'm not soon. ready for that yet. Romeo, I want my diamond ring. Are you fatter? I was on a diet on purpose so that the ring fits. Finally, I pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. No! Well, guys, let's congratulate Coach Abby and Mr. Mike. Yeah. Yay! Congratulations, 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 congratulations. Yeah. I hope there are no kisses today because I know that I won't survive it. Oh, that's right. Coach Abby and Mr. Mike haven't kissed today yet, so. Kiss, 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 kiss. One, two, one, three, two, four, three, five, four, six, five, six, five, six, six, eight. seven, eight. That's it. Now my heart is broken. And now the most pleasant thing of this event the bride will throw her bouquet. Girls, who wants to catch? Everybody! Well, I wish good luck to all of you and to me too. Girls, good luck catching the bouquet. We're ready! Baby, please catch the bouquet. No, but catch the bouquet. Nasya, don't catch the bouquet. We're getting married later. Pizza, do you remember? Girls. Marriage after 30. One, two, three! Go! Yeah! Yay! All right, Thomas, the next wedding is yours. I'm not ready to get married. Thomas, I'm so happy. Yay! Yay! And now, let's go have some wedding cake. Yay! Yay! We have a problem. The cake was eaten. What? Mike? I didn't eat. Lauren ate the cake. What? Well, that was delicious. Does this mean that there's no wedding cake? Mike? There will be no cake. Then let's arrange a disco. Lauren, how could you have eaten the cake? You ruined Mr. Mike's and Coach Abby's wedding. Look at this. I didn't know that it was Coach Abby's cake. What? Did you think it was yours? It was a wedding cake. What the heck did Julie catch the bouquet for, huh? Blondie, it just happened. The bouquet just flew to her. Well, it's not fair. I was supposed to catch the bouquet. Zach! It was in the kitchen and we eat everything in the kitchen. I can't believe you did that, Lauren. Oh my gosh, guys. Don't be upset, okay? Let's have fun. Disco! Yeah! Guys, now we're going to enjoy Coach Abby's and Mr. Mike's wedding. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and wait for cool new episodes. See you guys very soon. Everyone, bye! Bye! Yay! Yay!